everyone, today's video is going to be my makeup collection and storage video. I haven't filmed one for at least a year, so I thought I'd go on now and film my updated one because it's been a while since my last one. So my makeup collection has improved over the last year in my opinion. I've just got more like storage items to make it look much more better in my opinion and I'm much more happy with it now than I am with it last year. So this collection so far is the best it's been. So as you can see in the corner of the room I have my mum vanity desk. I have it at an angle so that I can have my ring light behind it so when I'm editing or like doing my makeup at the desk I have good lighting and then I pull it out if I'm recording videos for YouTube and stuff so that's where I keep the ring light. So on the wall behind the light I just have a few stickers that have a little quote on them. It just says live every moment, laugh every day and love beyond words. And on the Ikea Mom vanity table, I have this final marble sticker on the top so that it gives a really nice finish. I will link the video down below if you want to know how to do that. I did a whole video on how I did this work top, so I'm really happy with the way it looks. So I love this now with the marble top. And then underneath the desk I have a little white fluffy rug, I have a little stool as well, and a white basket full of my cables, so my laptop cables, and my SD card cables and everything like that. I also have my Zuka Sport Pro case, which was my makeup artist case I use at my makeup jobs and then when you pull out the drawer of this vanity table I have a notepad to the left which I keep notes and video ideas for YouTube I also have a separate lens at the back and some headphones for my laptop and then I also have my laptop under here so when I'm editing my videos I just pull it out and put it on the desk it's a really good size for this tray it fits in here nicely then I have a little container here which I have some spare batteries a remote for my camera some selfie lights have SD cards and some more selfie lights in the corner, my glasses case, and then down here I have some hairpins and some body pins. So on top of my Muji 5 draw a click case I have my brush holder which is from Zoeva from Beauty Bay and it holds all of my makeup brushes in there really nicely. I do want to get another one and build up my brush collection because my brushes have improved so much from my last collection so I'm really into brushes lately. I have the New Look Makeup Brush Cleanser Spray right next to it as well so when I'm doing my makeup on a daily basis I can easily wipe the brush clean. Moving down I have the Muji 5 Draw Acrylic Case. Again I will link everything down below if you are interested. This holds a majority of my liquid lipsticks and my lip glosses. I love this case for that. I do want to get another one and start filling it up more because I'm really getting into my liquid lipsticks. The top drawer here is full of my MAC lip glasses and some cream sheen glasses. Most of these are all limited edition lip glasses. Moving down to the second drawer, I have more drugstore liquid lipsticks. So I have the Chi Chi Creamy Matte Liquid Lipsticks, the Australis for Law Lips, some MUA Lip Blackers, the New Look Liquid Lipstick, which is really, really good. I have the newer improved MUA Lip Blackers, um, and then I also have a NYX Lingerie, a NYX Liquid Suede, and the LA Girl Matte pigment gloss which is more of a liquid lipstick and I have the sleek mini liquid lipsticks as well at the back. The third drawer down is my more high-end liquid lipsticks so I have two from Kylie Jenner this one is their holiday collection and then that's the normal one there. I have a Colourpop liquid lipsticks but the writing is rubbed off. I also have the Illamasqua liquid lipstick, I have the Dose of Colours liquid lipstick, Jeffree Star and two MAC liquid lipsticks. The fourth drawer consists of mainly lip glosses and some pencil stick forms. Two are the MUA Lux Metallic Lips Lip Glosses and then these are the Inked Lip Stains which are really nice for a more natural look. I have the Tanya Vare Gloss, I also have a Makeup Revolution Gloss. These three here are the lipstick crayons from Primark because they new got their new ones. And then these are the old lipstick crayons from Primark as well. And then the last drawer in this Muji case, I keep this MAC palette full of my old Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro lipsticks, which I've just depotted. Again, I've done a whole video on how I depotted them, so I'll link that down below. And I also have the MAC Mariah Carey lip gloss here, because the packaging is just so stunning. I love that one. Then I have this letter wired tray from WH Smith. I have some of my palettes in here that I use the most often. This one is my Makeup Geek palette. I absolutely adore this one. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I have my MAC palette underneath that. And then I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And then in front I have this little lipstick acrylic drawers. And I have my MAC pigments and glitters. And then an eyelash glue as well. And I also have this little mirror on my table so I can do up close work with my makeup. Then I have this little cardboard tray full of my lip liners. So I have some from MAC. I have some from Kylie Jenner. I have some from Depp of Scarlet. MUA. Um, 
rimmel, all that type of things in there. So quite a few lip liners from my last year's collection because I didn't have many last year, but now I'm building it up. Then I have this spinning lipstick tray, which I got off eBay. And I keep all of my limited edition MAC lipsticks on top. So I've got the MAC Mariah Carey one. The, I have the new Lip Tensity lipsticks. I have some from the Nutcracker collection. Just a bunch of limited edition ones. These are all from MUA and these are the Vivid Intense lipsticks. I have some more down below here as well. Revlon, I have some from Jordana. Um, this one I believe is Rimmel. I have uh, Make It Revolution, Make It Revolution, Benefit, this one is from Kiko. So I have a bunch of lipstick drugstore on the side there. When you spin it round I have a Christian Dior, two Milanis, a couple of MUA. These are from Lip Geek and then these are all from Lime Crime. These are all of my MUA lipsticks on this side. And then spinning round to the other side I have a bunch of my MAC lipsticks here. I love these MAC lipsticks, these are my favourites. Two of these lipsticks here from Primark. I have a Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipstick. I have another Primark one there, and then this one I believe is Makeup Revolution, yeah. And then I have this little acrylic bathtub in the corner and I keep some of my Lush bath bombs in there. And then I have this Diamond X Hollywood vanity mirror. I absolutely love this mirror, it's perfect for your makeup and it really brightens up the room as well. I have filmed an unboxing of this Hollywood light, so again I will link that down below. When you move down, this is what you see. And then I have this custom Kylie Jenner inspired lip art picture, which I bought from Depop. Again, I will link it down below. The seller is amazing. They have different color versions of this lip print as well. And then either side of the picture, I have a couple of my Pandora bags because I just got a bracelet, so I'm starting my Pandora collection now. And then in this little acrylic tray, I keep some of my mini sponges for concealer, my Real Techniques sponge as well. And then these are my high-end lipsticks. I have my YSL Rouge Pure Couture like lip gloss cream in this one. I love this one. I also have a YSL lipstick, another YSL lipstick, an Estee Lauder lipstick, and an Elizabeth Arden lipstick as well. And then this unit here is my Ikea Alex drawers. I absolutely adore these drawers. I do eventually want to get another one and stack it on top when I do move house. So this tray again is from Ikea, this tray insert. I will link it down below again. It's perfect for these drawers because it's a perfect height. It's just level with this drawer. So when you open it here on the handle, it's not gonna bash or anything. It's a really good size. In this top tray section here, I keep some of my setting sprays. So I have the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Freedom Pro Studio Priming Water. I also have the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray and the Urban Decay B6 Primer. Speaking of primers, I have all of my face primers and eye primers in this section here. I have some from um, Primark, I have some from Essence, I have the Dr. Pawpaw, I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have also have a bunch of samples from MAC as well. I have some MAC Paint Pots in Painterly, some Benefit Professional, but a bunch of primers in this section here. Then all of my powders are here. I have the Kiko powder, a MAC powder, Makeup Gallery, a MAC, Pure Minerals, Mural Stay Matte, Catrice powder, Fit Me and Elf. And then this little section here is my foundation. So I don't have many foundations. I have gone through my collection and like recently and chucked away any old ones. So I do need to buy some more. I have two L'Oreal True Match Foundations, the L'Oreal Lumi Magique, which I'm almost out of, MUA Skin Define, Collection Lasting Perfection, Holy Grail is this Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I also have the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation, which I'm just testing out, and the Makeup Gallery Foundation as well. And then down the side, I just have a bunch of random stuff. So I have some Pro Concealer Correct Palettes from Freedom, a powder from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, and a Stila Pressed Powder as well. My second drawer down, I have a bunch of mascaras, eyeliners, brow products, and then I have my lashes as well. This acrylic tray here is from Amazon. I will link it down below. I have a couple of my dip brows from Anastasia. I have the Kylie Jenner White Eyeliner. I really like that one. A sleek brow kit, the Benefit Skinny Brow, a couple of clear mascaras. This section here is all of my mascaras. I've definitely improved on my mascara collection. And then another Ferrero chocolate box set. I have all of my liquid liners and pencil liners in this set here. Some glitter liners as well. So these are all of my eyelashes. I have some from Makeup Gallery, Bell Lash, Primark. And then these ones are from Poundland as well. They're really good. And just some dramatic Liz Martins one from Salon System in the back. And the third drawer down is my skincare drawer. So right in the back I have some cotton wool and some cotton rounds. 
And then I have another one of them acrylic trays from Amazon. I have the Beauty Formulas Glorious Mud Facial Mask and the Blackhead Peel Off Mask as well. And then a sample of a shower scrub from Lush. This is from Superdrug. This is the Be Pure Micellar Water and Almost Out. I have the Veet Pearl Whitening Hair Cream Removal, which I have a little spatula thing with it as well. That is for my face, so removing like hair from my face. I have the Garnier Gentle Soothing Face Wash. I also have the Garnier Oil Control Complete Vanishing Cream. I also have this MAC sample of the Cleanse Off Oil. I really do love this for removing makeup. And I also have the Garnier Clarifying Wash as well. In the back I have this little wash pad which has silicone grips on the back. So I stick this to the back of the sink and then wash my brushes on that pad. And then in this little lid I have the Derma V10 Anti Wrinkle Cream and some Vaseline as well. The Primark Facial Brush, which is really good for removing makeup. And right in the corner, I also have some deep cleaning nose strips. And this is the fourth drawer down, and this is probably one of my favorite drawers. This brush acrylic tray is from Al Gori, and I got it from Amazon. Again, I'll link it down below. So I have a bunch of my sleep brushes here. I have one from NARS as well, a Catrice blush, Essence and Makeup Revolution. And I also have a makeup gallery blush in the front. And this side here is more higher end. So I have all of these MAC blushes here and a limited edition MAC blush. And then I have two Urban Decay Afterglow blushes in the front. I absolutely love them. I have two more of these acrylic trays from Ferrero Rocher. So I have some Illamasqua blushes in the back and a couple of NYX blushes as well. I have another MAC blush here. This is from the Vibe Tribe collection. I have a Milani Bates blush and then two box blushes from Benefit so I have Bella Bamba, Sugar Bomb as well. So this acrylic tray here is all one big section and I got this from b and the UK. The limited edition MAC holiday collection bag so this is for the Nutcracker collection. I also have my YSL blush as well. I also have the Max Mariah Carey blush. Back here I have a couple of tools. So I have the nail sharpener, eyelash curler, scissors, and a mirror. And again, I am a sucker for packaging. So I kept the MAC holiday collection for the Nutcracker Suite. I have the MAC Mariah Carey boxes because I just couldn't throw them out. Also have the Kylie Jenner holiday edition box. And then this is just a sparkle lid, which I want to store some more stuff in, so I kept that. And I get some more Mariah Carey boxes at the bottom. And then the fifth drawer down is my highlighters and bronzers. Again, I have another one of them acrylic trays. I really do love these. I want to get some more. And these are all of my highlighters. I have one from Urban Decay, which is the Afterglow highlighter. I have the Becca Champagne Pop. The Balms May Luminizer. Cinderella highlighter from Essence, two Makeup Revolution, one W7, a Goddess of Love highlighter, and the Soap and Glory. I have another one of them trays, and in here I keep my liquid and cream stick pencil highlighters. So I have the strobing liquid from Primark, and I have the one in pink and gold. I also have the highlighting pencils from Primark, the NYX liquid illuminator, all in that section there. And then in the lid down here, I keep the MAC Holiday Copper Face Compact, which has Whisper of Guilt and a blush. Really love that one. Next to it, I have another compartment here, which has got one of them glitter lids from Soap and Glory. I got from a Soap and Glory set for Christmas. Here, I keep my sleek highlighting palette. Definitely amazing. I love that one for drugstore. I have the Primark Strobing Kit and the Primark Cream Contour Kit. And I have a bunch of MAC highlighters here. I have the Mariah Carey extra dimension skin finish i absolutely love this one it's stunning i have the new extra dimension highlighters from mac this one is in double green i have the msf in soft and gentle and the mac trolls highlighter as well another acrylic tray here i have my most used high-end bronzers this is by far my favorite and this is the benefit hula absolutely love that one this is the mac msf in cheeky bronze I also have the Max Vibe Tribe Studio Sculpt Bronzing Powder and my NARS Laguna Bronzer as well. Again, I have some more acrylic trays. You get the idea by now. I have a bunch of these. So these are all of my drugstore bronzers. So I have the Makeup Revolution. I have the Bronze Sculpt from MUA, Accessorize, Makeup Gallery, Milani, 
Makeup Revolution and the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. Then I have my creamy stick highlighters and bronzers. So I have the Makeup Revolution Cream Contour Stick. I also have the Primark Highlighter Stick, the Benefits Fine One One. I have the Benefits Sunbeam Liquid Bronzer and the Benefits High Beam Liquid Illuminator. Again, I have the packaging for the Face Compact because I absolutely love that one. And then right down this corner, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I really love this one. I want to get the contour kit next. This is stunning. And then in the last drawer is all of my eyeshadows. And then I have this little insert here, which I keep all of my pigments on. This is actually a spice rack tray from Ikea. I have a couple of pigments here from L'Oreal. I have some Maybelline color tattoos. I also have this Stila kitten. And I also have a MAC paint pot in Stormy Pink two elf pigments here, I have a sleek pigment and then a bunch of Barry M. And then this section here I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, I also have one from Kiko. And then I have this YSL Full Shadow Metal Liquid Eyeshadow. And then I also have this Graftobian Glitter Gel which is absolutely stunning. And then I have my eyeshadow palettes on this section here. Right in the back I have some MUA palettes. I also have a couple of my NYX palettes as well, a sleek eyeshadow palette, Makeup Revolution right in the back. I also have my Urban Decay Build Your Own palettes as well. I then have the Deck of Scarlet eyeshadow palettes, Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and the Urban Decay Smoky palette. The Chi Chi Nudes eyeshadows, the Makeup Geek Manny palette and the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. And then I also have this new palette from Me, Myself and I which is from Unique Beauty. These are my glitter eyeshadows, they are absolutely stunning, I love them. Behind that I have the Balm's New Tune palette. I also have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which, which is an absolutely stunning eyeshadow, I love this one. I have the Max Mariah Carey eyeshadow quad, and the Zoeva Coco Blend eyeshadow palette, with such gorgeous eyeshadows. And then I have another little single eyeshadow acrylic tray. This one again is from Al Gori and I got it from Amazon. So in here I have a bunch of my Urban Decay single shadows in the old packaging. I have a Jordana shadow, a couple of shadows here from MAC. I have an Illamasqua pigment, a cream colour from Illamasqua and then two liquid metals from Illamasqua as well and a bunch of Illamasqua shadows. And then right down here I have one of the MAC collection cases which came with some pigments. It was just too pretty to throw away. Then I have a MAC Extra Dimension Duo and some Primark shadows as well. So that was my entire makeup collection and storage video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please give me a big thumbs up because it will tell me you love it and I will film more in the future. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Savannah, the beauty of the world Savannah, let's all take a ride Savannah